Chris, we've had some warm temperatures. Finally seeing that cool down a lot of people have been waiting for. Oh, yes. I like to kind of show you this in terms of a visual here. The calendar, these are the high temperatures at the airport so far this month. 14 red days, meaning above normal. The last six have all been in the 90s, but today and tomorrow, we're going to put two blue squares on the map because of this right here. There's a big trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere. It will hang out today and tomorrow, and that means much cooler with a decent little chance for some rain. Now, southwest Colorado, unfortunately, you really are not going to feel much of a difference like we are here in Denver and on the plains. You still have those fires. You still have some issues with air quality down there from Silverton through Durango and the San Luis Valley. Same for you. Not much change in your weather pattern. Fire weather continues to be a big concern with a red flag warning for the San Luis Valley. Very cool across a large part of the state. Even the southeastern plains much cooler. 60s and 70s are pretty common across Colorado, La Junta and Springfield. You're briefly into the low 80s right now. John Bache up at Cold Creek Canyon, 55 degrees. He's waiting on some rain showers. Look at that. Some showers developing along the Continental Divide. Our camera from I-70 at Evergreen Parkway. And they're starting to show up here on satellite and radar. That area of cloud cover you see uh, right along the divide there. Parts of Summit County over into parts of Clear Creek County. Some rain showers developing. You even see a little purple there between Georgetown and Blackhawk. We could see a little snow above our tree line on some of the peaks this afternoon into tonight. Here's future cash. Showers will continue to develop through 5 o'clock. They'll push to the east. We could have some late night rain here in the city, the way things are starting to look. Let's do this one more time. I'll play it through a little closer. Those showers develop between now and 5 over the foothills, and then they'll expand out into the I-25 corridor. I can't promise every single person will get wet, but we will definitely have the cloud cover, and there is the potential for you to see some showers showers at your house. If you miss out tonight, we'll have another chance tomorrow as a trough of low pressure will move overhead. Highs today, a few more degrees to go. 80s in the southeast, 70s northeast, 60s and 70s in the mountains, and some 80s out on the western slope. Here's Denver's five-day forecast. Even cooler tomorrow with very extensive cloud cover and a good chance of showers. And then starting Saturday, Andrea, number one, we welcome officially the summer season, and then we hit those 80s right in time for Father's Day. So good grilling weather if you want to do something fun with dad. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'd love that. Not too bad, Chris. Thank you so much.